Hello again everyone and welcome to the exciting conclusion of Let's Play Knuckles Chaotix. This here is the random screwball and piss take episode I've been start I've been promising you for a while now. And right now, in case you're wondering and haven't maybe seen some of the earlier videos where I featured this, this is the color test. You press A, B, or C to select a color, you go up and down to select each bar, and so like I can control the blue levels with left and right after pressing A. Or I can press both A and B and I can shift them a certain amount. Anyway, the important thing is that these numbers here are the code to get something special. I'll slow this down a little bit. In the sound test. Where it was once a volume bar is now Amy Rose. So that's it. And then if you input some completely different code, you get the stage select. I'm not going to put it in now because it'll take forever. Anyway, what sort of interesting things can you do from here? Well, there's a special stage, bonus stage and stuff. Not used. Not used is interesting. What happens if we say select that? Well, this here is the bad ending. <laughs> so yeah, it plays a specific music. It loops. Not very exciting and clearly reasonably the bad ending. And as you can see, there's good old final boss Metal Sonic version thing sitting over there in the corner. Other things you might be wondering about? Well, what would happen if we go to, say, World Entrance 1? Well, you go over here, and hey, it's final boss Metal Sonic. But, uh, that's not enough for me. Let's say we go to World Entrance 2. Yeah, the final, final boss. So yeah, that is that. And so, yeah, we could potentially beat him, but I don't think we'd get the good ending. Not that it matters. Anyway, we'll go back to the save state. And, um, what other interesting things are there? What sort of stuff haven't we shown you? There's not a whole lot, I guess. Um, I can go back to the introduction. Level 1, I think it is. We'll go ahead and do the Knuckles and SPL. There are a few cool things to do. I tried showing this in an earlier video, unfortunately, because... The sound didn't quite work out, it didn't come through the way I had hoped, but it will this time. Anyway, take Espio over there, we stand there, keep calling the partner like. As with the A button, after all. Yep, whether or not I'm using it on a keyboard or on a real controller, I'd be using what would be considered the A button. Hold on a second, there's someone at the door. And so... That's what you get there. You get the game over music, but because of where you did it... Well, okay, it doesn't display this time, but you'd actually get to go to the next level and it would loop the game over music. Well, here's the next thing we're gonna do. Sorry if there was a little bit of an interruption there. I might have continued recording. Anyway, this gives me a little bit of a chance to recollect my thoughts and stuff, and, uh show you this dude here. I mean, we've mentioned him several times in the prototype videos, so... But... Yeah, if you can't tell, he is just a mighty clone. And he frozen up the game. Yeah, kind of glitchy still. So, yeah. Selecting that character is taking the life of your save in hand, basically. Um, is there anything else even remotely interesting? Well, I'll be back in a minute to check with that. There is one other thing I wanted to show you. Here's one last thing I wanted to show you about this game. I kind of mentioned it in some of the proto videos, but I never really did give you a proper video of what it actually behaves like in the final. When you finish a level with negative rings. I'll go negative 30. I don't believe I ever got a video of this, so... There we go. We'll see, we got the time bonus and the ring bonus, and then... Yeah, the game basically just short circuits your score so that it doesn't potentially go negative. That's what happens any time you finish with fewer than zero rings. So, that is it. Well, here we go then. This is really one of the last few things I want to show you in-game. Um, on the GHC, I noticed one time that they were like, hey, there are bells in this level, but they don't do jack squat. And from my understanding of playing this game, that's not entirely true. You jump up and hit it, 
and then you stand underneath it, and boom, knocks you down. So, there we go. Problem solved. Now you know what those do. And as you can see, we're right over by the boss now. Those things are very useful. But you gotta stand around for a second, so it might not be the greatest thing ever to do for, say, speedrunning. And, um, that's it for that little bit. Well, before the break, I was all like, there was something I maybe wanted to show you. And that was whether or not through the not used thing you could actually get the good ending. It turns out, unlike most previous Sonic games, where if you go to the level select and beat all of the special stages and then reset, it resets here automatically, actually. Certain parts of the RAM that actually determine that, hey, you've gotten all of the seven Chaos Emeralds and are thus entitled to the good ending, aren't actually set. So, in this case, I believe that that's what's happening here, is that they've actually cleared it. So when you select not used, you get the bad ending. Anyway, in terms of getting the good ending, though, I want to end this video on a rather high note. So I'm going to finish by playing this full version of the song Tribute, which is what you get when it's all, like, cool with the chaos rings and it's all, like, you got the good ending. I'm going to finish my commentary here so that I don't interrupt the song, and I'd like to thank everyone for sticking with me through thick and thin and a very inordinately long length of time to get through all of these videos. So, without further ado, the exciting conclusion to the Knuckles Chaotix Let's Play series. Dun, dun, dun. Um, that wasn't the song, thank goodness. I didn't have the emulator selected. Sorry about the anticlimacticism.